Hey guys, welcome back to another Magical Box tutorial. In this one, we are going to be creating props, objects, and buildings, and importing them into Teardown, where our end goal is to hopefully recreate a house that looks something like this. We will start with the basic things such as creating props for your scene, to eventually creating full-on maps with objects and buildings, that you can destroy and tear down. Please be sure to check out Snoot T's guide for custom maps and tear down. While not required, it is highly recommended you take a look at it first because it not only covers the basics of Magical Voxel, but I will be referencing it many times in my tutorial. Now with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Obviously, in order for this tutorial to work, you will need some prerequisites. Firstly, you will need a copy of your own game, Teardown, which you can find on the Steam website. You will also need to download and install Magical Voxel, which is a free software and is what we'll be using to manipulate the voxels. And an optional uh, piece of software you should get is PureRef, which allows you to put reference images on your screen and keep them locked in place so that if you open a new window, that screen does not get covered. So now that we're in Magical Voxel, we actually need to go back to um, the browser, internet browser, and search up Teardown Create. And right here. It's important to go here because we have to download a specific palette for our um, scene otherwise if for instance we use these colors here you could see in teardown they're actually you'll just get an empty slate so to say if you be if you use any of these colors and you build your object and you import into teardown you won't get anything you need to use these specific um, codes on the index for your um, objects to be basically created in teardown and right here you can see you can download the palette it's got downloaded as a vox file so all you need to do is find out where you installed magica voxel in this case it's in desktop for me in this case it's in desktop graphic artwork magica voxel right here the client vox you just save the teardown palette in here and hit save hit yes you can see it's saved, and if you go back in Magical Voxel in uh, our project list, if you scroll down, you can see right here Teardown Palette, and it has your uh, palette for which objects correspond to what color and on what index. With that being said, let's go ahead and duplicate this project because we don't want to use this Teardown Palette, we want to make a new project out of it. So we hit this duplicate project, and we can just call this Teardown Prop Tutorial. Pop-up should pop up, and just hit save. Now this is where pure ref becomes important. You can see right here, it shows you what's what. So on top right here, it's plastic, which corresponds to these colors. If you have two monitors, you could theoretically put this on one monitor and Magical Voxel on the other. But for me, I only have one. So I can actually get a snip tool. Snip this right here to grab that image. And then if you go to Pure Ref, you could copy this image and paste it here. And if you press space, it zooms it into whatever the object size is. So if it's like all about here, press space, it'll zoom in like that. You can also adjust the size. So if you want it that big and press space, you'll get it like that. This is very convenient because now if I open Magical Voxel, this stays in place. And if I uh, press and hold the right, uh, right mouse button, you can move it around to wherever you want. So now it's very convenient for me to decide, oh, right here, this is brick. I'll, I'll know which color corresponds to what material. Finally, one last important step to take is to 
um, basically go to your Steam on where you have teardown. You can just right click this, go to manage browse local files, or you could scroll down here, find teardown, right click local files, show open up the file explorer, and then you go to create basic and you want to basically copy this basic voxel file find where you have um, your Magicka voxel saved go to box and paste it in here I already have a, um, a basic in here already so I'm not going to do this but you want this in here and I'll tell you why let's go back to Magicka voxel and find um, the basic voxel file for me I modified this but um, in your case you're just gonna have this house that comes with the basic box you want to select this object hit control C and then go down to where you saved the teardown prop tutorial do not save it's fine and then control V to paste it it's going to look a little bit wonky because there, that palette was different. Um, but this is the size of a small shack in Teardown. So you don't want to be making, like, let's say, let's say you want to make a table, right? You don't want to be making a table too big because, as you can see, this table will be very large in comparison to this shack. And keep in mind, this door is about roughly the size of the person you're playing on Teardown. So this table will be way too massive. So we're just going to use this as a guide on the perspective and scaling for objects we make in Magical Voxel. With that being said, all that it's finally done, we can finally start creating some props for our Teardown map. Okay, now I'm going to create some basic props for my scene using this pure ref image as reference to what all these materials are. Okay, so after that I've created a table with two chairs, a bowl, and some crates. Next thing we're going to do is delete the house because we no longer need it anymore. I only used it to get a scale on, what, on how big my prop should be. Next thing you want to do is name all these objects, which you can go right here, select on it, table. That's chair. Okay, with that step complete, we want to rename this file to just props. Save it. Now go to your Steam for teardown, go to guides, modding or config. Find where it says how to create custom mess for teardown by Snooty. Scroll down until you see props and copy this code right here. 
go back to your library and in teardown when I go to manage browse local files go to create and these five right here are basically the levels in which you can put your maps in I'm just going to put everything in basic so I want to copy I want to paste that script I got from that guide in this uh, file right here you go to open with notepad this is basically the code and scripting for that basic map and in the guides if we go back it says to put this code in between scene and closing of scene right here here's the opening and the closing and don't just willy-nilly put it randomly like that because this is actually the opening to um, some code and this is the closing of it so instead we may want to put it right here where it's closing this code right here and paste it and uh, because we have a few props in here we need to do this six times for because uh, we have six props here and let's see one important thing is that this right here prop um, underscore chair and this right here correspond with what is here so let's first um, copy and paste this body of code here uh, six times like that so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. For the six objects we have in this magical voxel file. And for right here where it says chair, we can leave that alone. And that alone. But for the next thing, we want to make that chair two. And this chair two. And this can be called like bowl. And this Bowl. And we have a table, so we're going to put table there. Table. Basically, we want this by box name to be the exact same thing as this. So we had a crate. Crate and another crate, so I'm going to call that crate two. Two. Okay. Save it, and you can see the positioning that they're all. When you load it into the game, they will be all overlapping each other. We don't want that. So for testing purposes, I'm just gonna make them all off by one. Save it, and you can close it. And now, one important, one last important thing before we go into teardown is locate your magical voxel files for the props. It's right here. Control C to copy, and then you want to paste it in the local files for the game in teardown I'm going to put it in basic so I'm going to open up basic uh, and then paste for props and now with that step complete let's open up teardown okay now that we're in teardown let's go ahead and play create basic level as you can see our props loaded in and obviously overlapping because we only set it by one meter. Now, uh, I don't really have a good method for positioning. You kind of just have to mess around with the settings in the notepad file, which I could show you right now. But honestly, it's all about playing around and getting your positions right and just experimenting. Okay, one thing to note before we go into teardown 
is that you can edit these values here for the positioning, save it, and then go into teardown. And all you have to do to see your changes is just hit restart. You don't have to close out of the game entirely. You can just press escape and see this screen. Control escape, go to the notepad and then change the value. So say for example, this chair is at one and chair is at, um, let's make it 3.2 and then the table in the middle or two, save it. Notice the changes aren't made. We start the level, and now the changes are made. So let's just work with this, try to get that ball onto the table and move those crates aside and prevent them from overlapping. Okay, you could see that we have, i just restart it. We have successfully positioned props into the game with no overlapping. And you're able to move them around and throw them at stuff. I hope this tutorial helps. Um, there'll be more videos on bringing in magical voxel files into Teardown in the future. But for now, good luck and have fun.